This is a Brass Lecture gyroscope. It's based on uh, Victorian designs but with some uh, modern features. Um, for instance, the uh, Victorian gyroscopes had plain bearings, uh, which meant they didn't run for that long. These have got uh, ball bearings, stainless steel ball bearings, um, that allow it to run for uh, over 30 minutes. Um, there's a lot of energy stored there, so it uh, can run for quite a long time. Uh, it's got two gimbals. Uh, I've got the outer gimbal here. This could be a whole ring, but uh, I've chose just to have a half ring. Um, and the inner gimbals, like that. So we've got movement here, movement there. Um, you can actually lock the gimbals. So if I just lock them like so, and you can't move it then. You can put them up again. And also we've got, we can lock it on this axis as well. Stop it from moving there. Obviously, still move that way. Um, <clears throat> it's made from in solid brass. All the uh, components are precision made. Even the even the nuts are uh, machine manufactured rather than just um, cast uh, uh, off the shelf nuts. Um, let's start it and give it a go. I've uh, got here a uh, uh, small electric uh, drill. Um, with a friction wheel on, which has got a rubber O-ring on. We'll use that to start it up. It's uh, running fairly quietly. Um, some of the noise comes from the bearings, but a lot of the noise actually comes from uh, from the air movement. Uh, there's quite a lot of air movement there. Uh, I just uh, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the air movement. You can see it's it's flickering around quite a bit. If we uh, turn it around the other way. A fair bit of air movement there. Uh, let's uh, show you it running. So, get a right angle. If you uh, put pressure on the inner gimbal, it turns that way. On the other side, it comes around the other way. Moving underneath. And the opposite happens if you do on the outer gimbal, it turns the inner gimbal. So, also if we go around and up a little bit, <clears throat> we get, uh, get some weight and put it on the outside. You can see it's uh, starting to turn it around, precessing around. Um, I can also show gimbal lock on here. Move it around, quite hard to turn. Close to here, if we move it. You see, it locks into position, so it's not no longer moving the inner gimbal. We've just broken out of gimbal lock there, and it's moving again. That gimbal lock is using an unwanted effect in uh, aircraft gyros and ship gyros. Gives a lot of effort to remove that. So, there you go, brass lecture gyroscope.